This is Cooper Lindy, training for the New York City Marathon. Cooper, how you feeling? Pretty good. Two weeks out, uh, just trying to do a good, good hard tempo run today. Maybe about eight miles. Mix it up with some off-road, some on-road, and some paved trails. We'll see if we can get some splits on it. So, what are you shooting for at the New York City Marathon? I, I'd, I'd like to shoot for 245. I don't know how realistic that is, but um, we'll, we'll shoot for it. And, you know, shoot high. And how many marathons is this for you? This is gonna be number 11. 11. How yeah. many states? Uh, this will be number. Eight, I believe. All right, all under three hours, right? Yep, all under three hours. Nice. So, uh, what are you what are you trying to hit on your splits today? Uh, I'd like to be under six, so right around 5:55 to 5:50 pace for those okay. miles in there. All right, let's do it. Let's hit the trail. All right, let's do it. So how you been feeling so far through the training? I really felt good. I feel like my schedule's worked pretty well in my favor. Run right after work. And I'm talking about my, all my long runs. It felt really good on the long runs. Long runs are talking 20 miles or so. So, you feel good on those. But I feel good for the marathon. Out here, running. It's freeing, you know. I'm not in a fence. I can go wherever I want, for however long I want. And it's... I just think I love that running. It's just a freeing experience. You feel comfortable out here by yourself, you and your own thoughts. Nobody in the outside world has a quiet and peaceful so. Looking good. I must say this is a fun part of the training. Uh, it's kind of when the mileage has come down considerably but you're in like the peak of your shape. So all your runs are kind of seeing your rewards for what the hard work you've put in the last like eight to 10 weeks. So I, like these runs like this, eight miles at a pretty good pace, but you think back to 10, 12 weeks ago when you could hardly do eight miles, that's a great part about running. Whatever you put in, you get out. Looking good. Sub six minute pace. This one right around 5:50. Here's a starter. What's uh, what's marathon pace? I'm gonna shoot for six, right around 6:20. So I want to be well underneath that. Make sure I'm comfortable with that kind of pace. Psalm 147, 10 and 11. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the man. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. This verse sometimes echoes in my head when I run. It helps me realize that as much as I love running, as much as my worship experience is running, and as much as I truly believe the Lord takes pleasure in seeing me run, he expects and wants much more from me. Running is just a very small part of what the Lord has called me to do here on earth. He delights when I fear him, and when I put all my hopes, including my running hopes, in his unfailing love.
about a few. Oh, good. It's really good. So how far did you go? It was over eight. I don't know. I don't know if it's a GPS or tap out my run. I'm kind of more of a natural run. Just go out, feel good, see how long. Just kind of set out a course and go. I don't know, a little over eight miles. Six minute pace? Yeah, a little under. So we're feeling good. Feeling good.